Anyway, tomorrow kicks off the Chevron Houston Marathon race weekend with the We Are Houston 5K. Then on Sunday, 25,000 people from all over the world will run in the marathon. Our Sherman Chow is live at the Convention Center downtown. Sherman, you've been catching up with runners who have been checking in all day. You bet, and you know what? It is like controlled chaos out here. After they pick up the race day packets, they a lot of them come here to the Health and Fitness Expo, where we got all the latest and greatest gadgets and gizmos for athletes and runners, including, this is a massage gun. This is my buddy, Dr. Mike, right here. And, oh, yeah, oh, that feels good. A little bit lower, please, yeah. So if you're one of the 33,000 people who are gonna be running in all of these weekends races, you might wanna consider one of these babies, yeah, after you are done. Now, in addition to the uh, regular quote unquote runners, there are also elite runners. This is video of a group of runners coming in from Kenya uh, at George Bush Intercontinental Airport. You know, the top runners usually finish somewhere between two and two and a half hours for the men and women. First prize is $45,000. Thank you very much. Now, among the everyday runners will be six members of the same family, Team Flores. And these sisters run each year for a very important reason. 2015, mom passed away of cancer, and we do this in memory of my mother. Well, we had some neck some t shirts made, and also this necklace. When she passed, it's her thumbprint, and we wear that in her name and her honor. Oh, we like the candles for her one before and one after. It's a big family, and those who don't run will fly or drive in to cheer on the family. Of course, there are also great viewing spots to watch the race. You can use an app to track your runner. Just head to KHOU.com for all those important details. And today and tomorrow, everyone is welcome to this health and fitness expo at the GRB, which is free. Thank you very much. Among the gadgets, this is another kind of a massage gizmo. But frankly, I don't like it nearly as much as the uh, massage gun. i got to go find my buddy, Dr. Mike, over there. If you want to remain stress-free, though, you also want to listen up to this, because Doug Deloney has important information about all the road closures that are going to happen this weekend. The weekend is almost here, and so is the Chevron Houston Marathon and the 5K this weekend. The big closures you want to look out for as far as driving around town on Sunday morning, you may want to avoid downtown heading through Memorial Park as well. Parts of Montrose included in that. West U, you'll have some road closures, and Uptown some road closures related to the marathon. It's a lengthy one, Sunday morning all the way into the early hours on Sunday afternoon. Then you can probably drive around without having to worry about these closures, but certainly watch out for the runners as well. Here is the course route for the marathon and the half marathon on Sunday morning. You can see major closures are on Congress, Lamar, Washington Avenue, Memorial, Tanglewood, Post Oak, heading back down into the West U area, Wesleyan and University, Bissonette, Kirby caught up in this as well. Like I said, give yourself to the early afternoon on Sunday, then your best bet to get around is after that time. We are the Houston, we are Houston 5K scheduled for Saturday morning as well, so look out for this. Fan in San Jacinto, the main closure this is heading from downtown Houston into Midtown. That one obviously will not last as long, not as a widespread of an area too, but watch out for those runners there near Discovery Green Park. Of course, we have all this information on KHOU.com and our mobile app.